Welcome to Sunny Day Stamping. I'm Julie Baca. Do you just hate to throw away any tiny scrap of designer series paper? This is the beautiful paper that Stampin' Up! that you can get from Stampin' Up! and it's double-sided. That I just I hate, to, I hate to throw it out. So I've designed a card today that can use up any little scrap that you have. Let's get started. This is the gorgeous card I'm going to show you how to make just using scraps from other projects. Now these scraps are coming from um, back in September 2021. I showed you how to make this really quick designer series paper card. And so the scraps are coming from this project. So if you made this project, you're going to have the exact same size scraps and same kind as me. But if you don't, I mean, there are any other scraps that you have can be modified to in this layout um they can be different widths like i have these all the same width which are seven eighths inch strips but some can be skinny some can be big like i've tried it in different ways and it's just so freeform it doesn't matter one tip that's going to make it really um easy to put together is to use the designer series paper from one like pack um because you know that they are going to match each other. And what I do is I keep my designer series scraps in just an envelope and I label it that way. When I go to make cards like this, I know all of these are going to match and it's going to just make a really uh, quick card. To create the focal images on this card, I'm using the Quiet Meadow stamp set and the stitched so sweetly dies to cut them out. Now, don't feel like you can't make this card. If you don't have the dies, you can definitely just cut them, cut out the rectangles. And on my website, I will have a free downloadable um, sheet, project sheet that will have all the measurements on there. And I'll even give the measurements for if you wanna just cut these out instead of using the dies. The dies are beautiful though. They have this little stitching and the scalloped edge that looks so pretty. We're also gonna throw some sequins on there and all you need is some black ink. So that's good. To create the interesting background um, on this card using the designer series paper, just grab your scraps and kind of lay them out on your paper how you how you kind of want them to go. Now I'm going to make this have like a long center with decreasing um, pieces on the side. So five pieces, one long in the center, decreasing to the corners. But you could do this. Um, you could do these horizontally. You could do them all lined up, or you could kind of put them off to the side. Like this is really free form. Just play around and see what looks best with the scraps you have. So I'm just going to kind of lay these out. Just kind of giving myself an idea how I want them to look. Ooh, look, this piece could be this way. Well, this piece has gold in it. I like that. So I'm going to do that, that, and put this little piece of gold. We'll put that piece of gold right there. Okay, now I'll grab our paper trimmer and trim these up to fit on our card. So I want this long piece in the middle to be five and a half, half inches long. I know this piece is four inches, so I'm gonna cut this at one and a half. So now that you have this center piece cut, you can figure out what your other, what size you want your other pieces. Now I made mine, I wanted mine to be really like not very symmetrical, but you could make yours symmetrical. So if this is five and a half, Maybe you keep these pieces at four inches and these at two and a half inches, but I'm going to make mine a little bit different. I'm going to keep this piece at four and I'm going to cut this piece to three and a quarter. I'm going to have this piece be two inches, I think. Oh, it's so hard to decide which, <laughs> which side to pick. Okay, we'll do two did i say two inches all right we'll do two inches here and this one i don't want to be the same i guess we'll do two and a half inches the paper trimmer makes this really really easy to do there we go all right now we could glue this down just like this or if you wanted to make just a couple extra cuts I think I might trim this piece a little shorter and add a tiny piece of this in here. So I'm going to trim this down to three. I'm 
and I'm going to add a one inch piece of this pink. There, that just makes it just a little bit more interesting. All right, let's glue it down. So I'm starting by gluing down that center piece and really the only part that I feel like is important in putting these together is the distance that you're going to keep between each piece this way and this way because I feel like the pieces can be all different lengths but if they were spaced differently or not totally uh parallel with each other I don't know I think that would bug me but <laughs> but maybe I mean maybe you can make it work So with this one, I don't really want that edge lined up. I'm going to pull this up. Whoa. Same with this piece. I don't want these edges lined up. I'm going to make sure this overlaps. Oh, but look, I don't like how that's the same size. I may have to put another, another little scrap in there. I got glue on my designer series paper. You guys, that is gonna bug me. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna have to put a little piece there to keep that to cover that up. So I found a little piece, and now I'm just trying to decide how, like, how wide I should, sorry, how long I should make it. I don't want it to come all the way out to here, so I think I'm gonna cut it like this. So that's like a half an inch. And yes, the paper trimmer can cut a little tiny, tiny scrap of paper. I love this tool. There we go. Now don't worry about oh, going outside of the lines. I'll show you really quick how we'll fix that. All right, so now you just have to decide, do I like this, do I not? I think I might have to add a little piece right there. All right, I think I'm done fussing now. <laughs> And I really made this way harder than it needed to be. I, you could just have five strips of paper and not cut them into little pieces. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is trim off these edges. So you're going to flip your paper around so you can really see what needs to be trimmed. And just take your paper snips and just snip those off just with a nice sharp pair of scissors. And little scissors seem to work best. There you go. Now my my paper is a little warped. I think I used a little too much glue. So I'm gonna actually put this on a stack of books while I show you how to work on this part. You could use some of the other elements in these this stamp set to create something really pretty on the front here. I'm just gonna use this big flower this time though. I'm gonna ink it up in black and I'm gonna stamp it on our just piece of kind of scrap paper here ink it up again. I'm going to rotate it over here. And the reason why I'm spacing these apart is because we're going to cut these out with our dies. So you'll grab your two dies and I don't want to see the whole flower in this focal image. So I'll cut mine like that. And this one, I want the flower off in the corner and I'm going to stamp that little love right there. And I'm actually going to stamp that right now. So if I mess up, <laughs> I can do it again because I tend to mess up a lot. Let me show you a little tip. This little love stamp is so tiny that I it's hard to stamp it straight. So here's my tip. Put it on the cross of your graph paper so you know it's straight. And then line up your block on the other squares there so now you know it is straight. Okay, now we'll ink this up with black. And I'm going to put it like about right there. Yay! All right, I'm going to go run these through my die cutter and I'll be right back. So now we're just going to add just a few more little decorative little pretty flowers. So I'm going to take the, the larger of the two small flowers. I'm just going to gently just press a little bit in there. Now I'm going to take the small flower. I really should not have this all on one block, but I don't have that many blocks. So this is what's happening today. Okay. There, isn't that just so precious? Now you're gonna grab your pretty scrap card and you're gonna decide where you want these two rectangles to be. That looks good right there. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this one down, but I'm going to pop that one up with dimensionals. So I'm kind of eyeballing where where I have that, and I'll try to put it back in about the same spot. But you know what? It's not really going to matter, even if I don't do it exactly. You just want it to make sure it's parallel with the side. Oh, I'm rubbing too hard. There we go. All right, now grab some dimensionals to pop up that little rectangular piece. I think I'm going to use five. I'm going to do one in each corner and then one in the middle. If you don't do it in the middle, it's it sags down, which just does not look very professional, I guess. And I want this to overlap like that. And I want it to be, I want this to be parallel with the side here and with the side here. There we go. Now let's add a little bit of bling. We're gonna do some little sequins. What color should we use? Hmm, maybe we'll do these ones. I'm just gonna, these are self adhesives. You just peel them off and stick them. Like it's so easy. I'm gonna use three. There we go. Ooh, so pretty, so pretty. Okay, now we'll attach this to our card base. Now here I use just jade, but I want to see what it looks like just in white because sometimes just having the white makes all the colors stand out. I want to see which one I like better. Oh, you guys, I totally made a mistake. I should not have put this popped up layer on before I glued this on because I can't press it very much. Don't do what I did. Ah, hey, no, it's fine. It worked just fine. All right, so now you can leave it like this, but I think it's pretty to decorate the inside. So grab another sheet of five and a quarter by four, and I'll show you what we'll do with that. So if you have another scrap laying around, you'll need this to be four inches long so we can decorate the bottom. But before you glue that down, I thought it'd be nice to stamp like a thinking of you. This set also has um, You're Too Kind, um, and I'm gonna stamp it right there, but I wanna do it before I glue this down. So if I make a mistake, you know, we can just flip the paper, the paper over. All right, so I'm gonna use this as a guide to see where to stamp that. Hey, I think I did good. Is it straight? Is it straight? Is it straight? I did, yay. Let me show you one trick though. Let me see if I can get this up. If for some reason you accidentally stamped it too high, at this point, you could just push your designer series paper up to be in line with the sentiment. And it looks just fine having this little excess down there. All right, so let's glue this piece on and put this in our inside of our card. I'm just lining that right up along the edge, all three edges there. All right, and we'll glue it right in. I'm gonna move this before I get black ink on myself, goodness. Look at what I did. I got black ink on there. Oh, bummer. You know what? I might put a little piece of <laughs> designer series paper over that or maybe a stamp. Now, before we go, I think it would be really cute just to put a little couple of these tiny little flowers on the back. Oh, I just love little details. So let's look at our card. Here is the gorgeous set we made. Here's just a little bit of detail on the envelope that I just think makes it look so special. Now, if you look down in the description of this video, there's a link to my website and I've got um, a blog post that will have all the dimensions and the supplies that you need to recreate this project. Don't forget to check the description to get a link to download the free project sheet that goes with this card. Um, you can also sign up to receive my email newsletter. I send out an email once a week that gives you all the updated new projects that I've put out and also any sales. Thank you so much for watching. Have a sunny day.